Oh, this next one, next one is really fun. It's actually called Playful Palette. Perfect name for it because it just really lets you play with colors naturally. So everybody give a warm welcome to Masha Shagrina. Hello. I'm so excited to talk to you about color today. When I'm not writing code, I love oil painting. So if I were working on this portrait with oil paints, I may start with this base color, and then I would mix some greens and reds to it and lay out a rich set of skin tones on my palette that I can easily access. But when I work with digital media, I get a bit frustrated with the standard color tools. For example, here I can move my cursor more towards the green or more towards the red, but I cannot blend colors. Also, I have to pick every color completely from scratch. Project Playful Palette was inspired to bring some traditional palette interactions to digital media. So here I can start uh, with this base skin tone as before, and then I will tap to add it to the palette. Then I can add some green that I was interested in, and maybe some rosy red as well. All right. So just as with traditional media, I can freely mix these colors together. <laughs> and unlike traditional media, I can just as easily unmix them. So it's hard for me to destroy my mixing area. I'm going to freeze the palette so I don't make accidental changes. I can tap anywhere in this dish to select color. You can see it changing over here. So it's easy for me to access related colors quickly. As I'm painting, you'll notice that the palette is keeping track of all the colors I've used automatically here. And I can tap on each swatch to not just select the color itself, but also the position in the palette dish from which it came. Let me show you why that's handy on something that's a bit further along. So in this case, let me use the eyedropper tool to select the lip color. And now I know where it came from in the palette, so I can just adjust it slightly and continue painting with these related colors. Wow. I'm glad you like it, but there's more to come. So this palette is only composed of four colors, but as you can see, I was able to create quite a range of skin tones just with that. Um, but suppose at this point in the painting process, I'm looking at this and I realize I'm not so happy with these strong green hues that I used. I wish I laid out my palette slightly differently from the very beginning. In a typical workflow, I would have to repaint the entire painting to change my mind. But Playful Palette allows me to go back in time and rethink my color choices. So now I'm going to double tap on this green blob here. And let's see what this painting would look like if I used a more grayish tone. You see, the palette adjusted, and so did the entire painting. <laughs> but let's play a bit more with it and, and go crazy. So let me make my friend look a bit like an avatar character with blue skin. And I'll change this accent color to magenta and the shadows to this deep indigo hue. I think she would get a kick out of this. So now I will continue painting with these edited palettes as if nothing at all uh, has changed. At this point, all I'm really missing is uh, some yellow avatar eyes. So let me rearrange this palette. I'll change this blob color to yellow and this blob color to orange. Uh, let's see, how does this look? I think maybe a bit more vibrant yellow would look better here. And now I can continue painting the eyes. But you'll notice that I completely destroyed the skin tone palette I was using earlier. This happens all the time with traditional painting, and you just have to go back and painstakingly recreate your entire mixing dish. But with Playful Palette, all I have to do is use the eyedropper tool on any of the skin tones that I painted earlier, and voila, the palette dish was saved for me completely automatically.
so I can seamlessly switch between working on the eyes with the eye palette and working on the skin tones with the skin uh, palette. So with Playful Palette, we didn't just uh, replicate the traditional palette experience, but rather we reinvented it with a little bit of digital magic. Thank you. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's I mean, very impressive. Yeah, it's like it's their living colors is what it feels like. It's like, okay, I want to go back and change the color. It just means changing the palette, and then everything kind of follows suit. That's right. Does this inspire you to paint at all, or what do you think? You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be an artist. Uh, the only thing that stopped me was talent. Um, <laughs> I was really bad, so. Uh, did you draw that? Uh, I did, yes. Wow, so you guys can do everything. <laughs> Very jealous. No, I, I can't draw. I can draw a Ninja Turtle, and that's it. <laughs> ninja Turtle. I like it, man. Well, we're going to shift gears a little bit now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Masha. Thank you.